Hello. What are you doing here? Um, right, uh, this is a, a vlog, I guess. I haven't done any, many vlogs before, but I kind of figured there are things we do. Let's do one. Uh, three reasons, actually. One is that I had something to talk about today, whatever. Uh, two is I did a load a couple of years back and I never upload them, so maybe maybe I'll reread them and maybe I will. Uh, third thing is I wanted to see whether I look like a complete tool wearing Bluetooth wireless headsets like this around my neck just walking along when I'm not actually listening to them. No, oh, someone left a half of a... Anyway, um, right. You know when sometimes, sometimes, so people you respect, so people you like, maybe friends, maybe not, but um, they have a bit of a, a falling out and it's a bit like your parents arguing in the room. It's not something you really know how to deal with, which side to pick. Well, something a bit like that. I suppose it's not really the same thing. For a moment, in the red corner, let's let's do a wrestling thing. In the red corner, we've got Max Landis, scriptwriter. Recently did the script for a film called um, Urban um, American, um, no, American Ultra, which I haven't seen. But that's actually going to be important, the fact that I haven't seen it. Um, and then he, he's good, he did this video, Wrestling Isn't Wrestling, which it's great, I watched it like 10 times. And a film called Chronicle, which is apparently good. I haven't seen that either, I really should. Talking about a script right here, I haven't seen anything he's written the script for. And um, second, in the blue corner, we've got Red Letter Media, uh, guys behind Half in the Bag and uh, Wheel of the Woods, and of course the Plinkett Reviews. Uh, they're, they're great, they're funny. They've done a few ultra low budget films. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they, they're film critics, but they're comedians first. Um, and it's about American Ultra that we're talking, really, because they did a review of it. Uh, they didn't like it that much, I thought it was there, uh, whatever. Um, but the main thing they want to talk about is Max Landis, apparently, the film hasn't done very well, and he put up some tweets, some tweets saying, um, is there no room for original ideas anymore, you know, and we, we went up against these sequels and... Uh, you know, adaptations and all this kind of stuff. Video game movie, a really bad video game movie. They're all reviewed worse than us. Uh, and and we and they some of them outdid us, and we didn't really make much money. And why? That's terrible. What, what's wrong with the audiences, sort of thing? And the uh, like half in the bag people, the red letter media, sort of took issue with that and sort of saw it a bit as a, a bit of big headedness. And I get that. I get that, but. Here's the thing, I like Red Letter Media, like good film critics, but not necessarily good at critical thinking. It's a very different thing. It's uh, being able to logically work through someone's statements and, you know, deconstruct them and, and look at things from sort of a, an objective point of view as much as you can. So when Max Landis says these things, you know, they, they, they have their own bias on it and they put it on and they say it and that's fair enough, but I think they might have missed a bit here. Here's the thing, here's the thing. Like I said, I haven't seen Urban America. One of their arguments was, you know, well, maybe it was just, maybe it was just because it was a bad movie. Maybe that's why no one saw it. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's true. Because in all the years I've watched films and been to the cinema and things like that, especially going to the cinema, I don't think there have been many, if any, situations where I, I have gone to see a film at cinema because it's good. I might have gone there because someone told me it was good. I might have gone there because I'd heard through the grapevine it was good or because the, the advertisements look good. But not because the film was actually good, because I don't know, I haven't seen it. I don't know if it's good, don't know if I'm going to like it. Um, and Max Landis therefore kind of has a point. Um, people don't go and see a film because it's good. They go and see it because it's reviewed well, because the advertisements are good. They're good things through the grapevine. And in this case, the films it's up against, well, they haven't reviewed well. The word through the grapevine hasn't been good. The concepts are terrible. Like I said, they're all sequels. I mean, another Hitman film? It's got an 8% on, on Tomatoes. I mean, American Ultra's got 42. Not great. But it's not 8%. You know, what's the other one? Sinister 2? Sinister 2? And then... Well, that'll have like a 12%. And then you did rag on rotten tomatoes as well whatever whatever the point is these are not great films he was up against and they're not films that are more original they're not films that are better written better acted they're not better 
creations and even if they were well that's but you don't know that until you're in the cinema people go to see cinema because of everything else everything surrounding the film so when Max says you know is it because people don't like original films because it's not about reviews it's not about the quality it can't be about the quality you haven't seen it you don't go see a film because you've already seen it I mean some people do but you get the point so I don't think he's as daft as he sounds I don't think it's as um, egotistical a statement as it first reads when you really think about it so what is going on why weren't people watching I don't, I don't know I haven't got an answer because I haven't seen it and that's kind of my point that's why I said that's important because they saw it and they didn't think too much of it and so in their minds well that's why people didn't see it because it sucks but as someone who hasn't seen it that's not why I haven't seen it I don't know it sucks yet anyway yep that's a guess a vlog oh god I've done it from kind of down angle it's my Look, let's do it from up here. Look, oh, look, now I look much, much slimmer. Isn't that better? Yeah. No, no, oh God. You know, I've just realized these kind of vlogs, it's like a selfie, but longer and noisier. I'm very, very sorry. Okay, bye. Oh God, how do I stop it? How